here with Mariel Jaffe. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic, thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Can't complain. It's a beautiful night. We're out for a great organization. How did you get involved in this? So Unlikely Heroes has been on my heart and a part of my life for a very long time. Erica Grieve, the CEO, has been a friend of mine since before the organization even began. It was just a dream that was planted in her heart. And so this is really fun to be able to be a part of it now here down the road. Um, but yeah, I've been part of it since the dreaming stages of what it might be like. And um, so it's fun. Here it is, the party. Here it is, yeah. Anyway, we heard we're saving 10 children just with this event tonight. Hopefully more. I mean, the sky is the limit. I'm dreaming big. So... Um, as many as we can. We just want to get people passionate about it and understand the importance of, um, of going after this cause. Super important stuff. It's really kind of just thinking about it makes your like, heart crumble, you know? Cringe, yes. And I've heard some of the detailed background stories of her, um, of Erica coming home from the trips and what she's seen. And it's, uh, it's really, it's not just a fun thing for me to get behind and do some interviews. It's something that I'm genuinely passionate about and I feel like we really need to end, you know? I love that so many stars and celebrities have gotten behind this movement as well. It shows just how great this town can really be. Definitely. I think it's really cool. I feel like more and more there's celebrities and they're realizing that they're actually influencers. That yes, maybe the public calls them celebrities, but really um, we're influencers, you know? And, we, and I think it's neat when people rally together and use their platforms for something good and something meaningful. And that's how we change the world. Yeah, and so I know, speaking of platforms, you were in Scream 4. How was that experience? Oh, it was awesome. That was my first big anything, really. I think I kind of got into the industry, and I felt like I got thrown into everything. And so I learned a lot about myself and a lot about who I want to be in the industry and all kinds of things. And it was my first time being away from home for a long time. And um, But it was neat. I got to um, study under some actors that have been in this much longer than me, obviously, and um, really just observed the way that they go about and so it was a great time being in that position where do you think you would like to like carve a path for your career to go what kind of movies would you like to be in or tv or what's your path to you yeah you know i think that that changes every year it feels like as i mold and grow into the industry um some people that i admire are rachel mcadams and charlize theron and part of those reasons are because they're so moldable and they're so willing to take risks with roles and so um for instance, like Charlize Theron, as beautiful as she is, she did a role like Monster. And, you know. You're being a pretty girl and I model as well. Would you be willing to, like, cut your hair for a role? Are you that kind of actress? Absolutely. You know, I want to be challenged and I want to take risks with my career. And um, I think, most of all, I want to share a message and a story behind a role. And there have been certain roles that I've watched where I've been like, that's exactly what that actress just said is exactly how I felt, but I didn't know how to say it, you know. Not with Monster. I haven't really walked down that. But, but just in general, you know, and I think that part of being an actress is portraying a character's emotions and feelings to reach other people and so that's uh thank you so much for hanging out with yeah, us tonight have a good one you too nice to meet you, you too.